डियर लिस्नर वेलकम टू माय चैनल टॉपिक इज क्रॉस को इन क्रॉस को रिलेशन टू डिफरेंट सिग्नल्स आर को रिलेटेड टू गेट अ थर्ड सिग्नल क्रॉस को रिलेशन मेजर्स द सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन सिग्नल एक्स एंड द लैक्सड और द शिफ्टेड वर्जन ऑफ द सिग्नल वाई फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ क्रॉस को रिलेशन आर ऑफ एक्स वाई एन इज इक्वल टू समेशन के इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एक्स ऑफ के इन टू वाई ऑफ के माइनस एन हियर एक्स इज फिक्सड एंड देर इज अ लैग वर्जन ऑफ वाई आर ऑफ वाई एक्स एन इज इक्वल टू समेशन के इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी वाई ऑफ के इन टू एक्स ऑफ के माइनस एन हियर वाई ऑफ के इज फिक्सड एंड देर इज अ लैग वर्जन ऑफ एक्स आर ऑफ एक्स वाई एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू आर ऑफ वाई एक्स एन नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स एंड रेंज Let x n y and y n be a signal having length n one and n two respectively. The number of terms in the cross correlation are same as linear convolution, that is n one plus n two minus one. For range, we will solve the problem. Then you will come to know how to set the range for cross correlation. Perform cross correlation for the given sequence. X of n is one two three four. Signal is moving from minus two to one, and y of n is two four six. सिग्नल इज मूविंग फ्रॉम माइनस टू टू जीरो नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स आर नथिंग बट द एन वन प्लस एन टू माइनस वन दैट इज फोर प्लस थ्री माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नाउ वी हैव टू डिसाइड द रेंज नाउ फर्स्ट सिग्नल वी आर टेकिंग इन अ नॉर्मल दैट इज वन टू थ्री फोर दैट इज फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन वी इंक्रीमेंट द काउंटर फ्रॉम जीरो जीरो वन टू थ्री हियर दिस लोकेशन इज हाईलाइटेड बिकॉज दिस इज अवर एरो दैट इज जीरो लोकेशन एंड इंडेक्स इज टू For two, four, six, we will write the signal, but we increment the counter in a reverse direction. That is zero, one, two. Here our arrow is there. Therefore, we add the index location. Two plus zero is equal to two. Therefore, signal will move from minus two to next six location, so it will come as a three. Now we decide the terms and range for R of y x. Now number of terms are same, same as x y, but for Range the thing is different because the first signal that is y signal we are taking in up as forward direction two four six zero one two therefore it will come as two because here our arrow is come and index is two second signal that is x we are taking in a reverse direction y is in forward and x in a reverse direction we will write the signal as it is one two three four but we increment the counter in a reverse direction zero one two three this one comes. And two plus one is three. Therefore, signal starts from minus three to next six location. That is two. Therefore, R of x y is not equal to R of y x. In this video, the problem is solved only for R of x y, but you can easily calculate for the R of R of y x also. First is a matrix method. One two three four. The second signal we take in a reverse direction. Therefore, it comes as six four two. We do the multiplication and take the values in a Diagonal fashion. Therefore, R of x y n is equal to six sixteen twenty eight forty twenty two eight. Now here also we can set the arrow zero one two. This is the two, and the zero two plus zero is two. Therefore zero one two. Therefore we are getting. So we add the index at that particular location, and we start from zero. And whenever that index matches at index addition, we keep the arrow. graphical method this is the simplest method we just require to remember the formula and the range now formula is x of k into y of k minus n here x is fixed and y is moving and the range is moving from minus 2 to 3 first n is minus 2 therefore we are getting x of k into y of k plus 2 now here we require to shift the signal by two units on the right hand side because it is the advanced version This is two four six. That is y of n sign. We move the arrow to the right. That is by two units one and two. Here arrow comes. Therefore signal on the left hand side becomes zero zero four zero zero six four two zero zero six four two. We multiply with the corresponding. There is no change in the shifting of the x because x is fixed. We do the corresponding element multiplication and we are getting the answer one into six because all other values are zero. And here the range of the signal is minus four to one. In the next, we will move x is fixed. We are moving only the y. Now the y of k plus one comes. Therefore, shift the arrow to the right by one units. Therefore, the signal comes zero six four two. 
we do the corresponding element multiplication and here range is minus 3 to 1. Next the same element multiplication means there is no shifting therefore 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2, 4, 6 this is original single and here the range is from minus 2 to 1. Next we require to shift the arrow because these are the advanced version this is original signal and then we require to do the delay operation that is y of k minus 1. In y of k minus 1 we shift the arrow to the left by 1 unit therefore the arrow comes here so this is a signal start therefore like 2 4 6 here range is minus 1 to 1. Next we shift the arrow to the left by 2 units so signal starts from 2 here therefore 2 4 6 in this way we are getting the multiplication and corresponding element multiplication and answer for the cross correlation of r of x y next we shift the arrow to the by three units therefore one two and three so here signal signal starts zero two four six so in this way we are getting the answer from minus two to plus three tabular method this method is the simplest method only we require to do the proper shifting x of k and y of k x of k is fixed therefore one two three four this is the zeroth location of the x of k we first write down y of k signal is two four six so after the signal n there are only zero 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 therefore it is just represented zero zero now we require to do k plus two when we do the k plus two we are shifting the arrow to the right but when we shift the arrow to the right on the plot it will shift to the left therefore zero one shift and two shift so the, here the signal starts so this zero comes here therefore zero zero six four two next k plus one we shift the arrow to the right by one here signal starts therefore zero six four two like this next is the same signal next we require to shift the arrow to the left by one units therefore signal starts when we shift the arrow to the left the actually on the plot signal shifted to the right therefore the signal starts from four two shifting the signal starts from two three shifting the signal starts at the zero we do the corresponding element multiplication and we are getting the answer 6 60 28 40 22 8 fourth method is the summation method uh, this method uh, is somewhat difficult because from the graphical method you can get the range and from that you can easily calculate i have not solved the entire problem because even one term is solved you can easily know how to solve the remaining terms but uh, don't uh, follow this method in the exam because it is tedious also and we should know the range I have solved only for the first term that is minus 4 to 1 here r is n is going to start from minus 2 now r of x y is minus 2 k is going from minus 4 to 1 and we require to put the value of n as minus 2 and the k value is from minus 4 to 1 and we do the continuous corresponding element multiplication and here only the signal gets match that is x of minus 2 into y of 0 for all other terms any one of the value is 0 therefore 1 into 6 is equal to 6 this is the x signal and this is the y signal second example perform the cross correlation for the given sequence x of n is 3 to 4 1 and y of n is 2 1 3 number of terms are 4 plus 3 minus 1 that is uh, this is 6 4 plus 3 minus 1 is this is the 6 terms are there and here we require to decide the location we have to decide whether we have want to calculate r of x y or y x here r of x y is calculated therefore the first signal takes in a positive uh, forward way that is 0 1 2 3 and next the pointer is incremented in this way that is 2 1 3 and we increment the pointer from there 0 1 2 now we check whether that index at the pointer location so this index is 1 and this index is 2 therefore 2 plus 1 is 3 therefore signal starts from minus 3 to next 6 location so it will come as 2 matrix method 3 2 4 1 3 1 2 this is the forward signal and this signal we write in a reverse direction we are getting the values 9 9 22 11 9 and 2 here also we can set the location of the signal that is starting location uh, 0 plus 1 this index is 1 and this 0 1 2 this index is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 we start from 0 0 1 2 3 so here arrow comes therefore signal is moving from minus 3 to plus 2 in graphical method from the range term we know from where to start and where to end so signal is moving from minus 3 to 2 therefore n is minus 3 
therefore we require to do the shifting of the y by three units on the right hand side because it is advanced version of the y therefore one two and three signal starts at the zero so for zero three two one and the range is minus three to two next is the two time right shifting one and two signal starts at three therefore the range is here minus two to two next time only one therefore one so signal starts at one here range is minus one to two original signal therefore answer is 11 next is the delayed version of y by one units therefore shift the arrow to the left by one units signal starts from here next we require to delay the signal by two units therefore one and two signal starts here so 0, 0, 2, 1, 3. We do the corresponding element multiplication and we are getting the answer. Therefore, the answer is 9, 9, 22, 11, 9, 2. Third method is tabular method. The tabular method is uh, again very easy. We just require to check the x of k is fixed, y of k is moving, x of k is 3, 2, 4, 1, y of k is 2, 1, 3. Now here the zeros are there and zeros are there. First, we are doing the y of k plus 3. Now, k plus 3 means move the arrow to the right by 3 units. 1, 2 and 3. So, first signal starts here. So, 0, 3, 1, 2 on the left hand side. We do the corresponding element multiplication 9. Next is k plus 2. We shift the arrow to the right by 2 units. So, 1 and 2. So, signal starts from 3, 1, 2. Next is the k plus 1. We shift the arrow to the right by 1. So, signal starts from 1. Starts from 1 means that is the 0th location. 2, 1, 3, 0. Next, we require to move the arrow. This is the original signal. For k minus 1, we require to shift the arrow to the left by 1 unit. Therefore, 0, 2, 1, 3. Next time or one, one more time. Therefore, 0, 0, 2, 1, 3. We do the corresponding element multiplication and we are getting this signal value. Next is the summation method. For summation method, we should know the range and from the graphical method, we can easily find out the range. Now, the problem is solved only for single uh, term, minus 3. So, R of x, y of minus 3, x of k into y of k plus 3. Here, this is the end term and the signal is moving from minus 3 to 2. So, per corresponding index location is calculated and multiplication is performed. The signal values are present only that both values are present at x of minus 1 and y of 2 which is nothing but is equal to 3 into 3 and the answer is 9. At all other location one of the values 0 therefore the calculations are not shown. But with better way you follow the matrix graphical or tabular method rather than the summation method. This is all about the cross correlation by various approaches. If you like my videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.